The Catastrophic Charm of Godzilla 2014, A Study in Colossal Chaos. In the annals of modern cinema, Godzilla 2014 stands as a monument to the curious marriage of ambition and absurdity. Directed by Gareth Edwards, this film endeavors to resurrect the legendary kaiju with a reverence bordering on the religious, only to inadvertently craft a spectacle that teeters on the edge of self-parody. The film's colossal flaws, often overlooked in favor of its visual grandeur, reveal a narrative burdened by the weight of its own aspirations, a creature as cumbersome as the titular monster itself. The most glaring issue with Godzilla is its insistence on maintaining a somber tone juxtaposed against the inherent ridiculousness of its premise. The film aspires to be a thoughtful meditation on humanity's hubris and the insignificance of mankind in the face of nature's wrath. Yet, in its execution, the film frequently succumbs to the demands of blockbuster cinema, resulting in a disjointed experience that vacillates between high-minded allegory and bombastic spectacle. The gravitas with which the film treats its subject matter is almost admirable, but it ultimately collapses under its own weight, much like a skyscraper in the wake of Godzilla's rampage. Speaking of the human element, the film's characters are, without exception, woefully underdeveloped. Aaron Taylor Johnson's Ford Brody, ostensibly the film's protagonist, is a blank slate of a character, devoid of any discernible personality or motivation. His journey from military bomb diffuser to reluctant hero is as perfunctory as it is unconvincing, and his interactions with the supporting cast are equally devoid of emotional resonance. Brian Cranston, whose character Joe Brody is the emotional heart of the film's first act, is unceremoniously written out halfway through, leaving the audience with little to latch onto in terms of character-driven drama. The film's other major flaw lies in its pacing. The narrative unfolds at a glacial pace, with the titular monster only making a full appearance in the film's final act. While the slow build is clearly intended to create suspense, it instead serves to test the audience's patience. The climactic battle between Godzilla and the Mutos, massive unidentified terrestrial organisms, is undeniably impressive from a visual standpoint, but by the time it arrives the viewer's investment has been sapped by the preceding two hours of meandering plot lines and underwhelming character arcs. However, these moments of brilliance only serve to highlight the film's fundamental shortcomings. Godzilla, 2014 is a film that yearns to be taken seriously, yet its earnestness is constantly undercut by its inability to reconcile its high-minded ambitions with the inherent silliness of its premise. It is a film that demands to be admired, but in doing so, it alienates the very audience it seeks to impress. In the end, Godzilla 2014 is a cinematic behemoth that, like its titular monster, is both awe-inspiring and deeply flawed. A testament to the perils of ambition when untempered by self-awareness. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Quirky Critic signing out.